giant meat. All right, I'm Craig, and this is Diary of an Angry Scottish Golfer. This is a weekly YouTube video series that just tracked me trying to get better at golf in all sorts of manners and ways and things. If you're new to this channel and you like these sorts of golf vloggy stuff, consider hitting the subscribe button because that would be lovely, and I would appreciate it. If you're not new, thanks very much for coming back and watching more. That's really nice as well. I had a bit of an issue trying to film this video. I've tried to film it um, twice now. I made the workout video that you guys will have seen on Tuesday yesterday. I've been having a nightmare. I forgot to switch my microphone on that video. So I got like halfway through and there was mental seagull. Bit of speed training this week, like with the speed sticks. But something kind of clicked like something. I came up here yesterday and forgot my tripod. So bit annoyed and now I'm going to do it and the ground's a bit frozen so it doesn't make it ideal. And yeah, obviously this is actually going to be the first time I've filmed relatively near a golf course since January. Um, so basically this is one of the videos that I wanted to do at the start of the year. I always like to have it on that side because my nose looks less giant, still giant, but less giant. And I have to <laughs> keep switching hands because my hands are freezing because it's really cold today. So yeah, today's video Basically, I'm looking to baseline where I'm at with my entire golf game. So putting, I've broken it down into five categories, putting, chipping, pitching, iron play, and then driving. The golf psychologist that I speak to, Tom, we're quite big on, we're quite big on. He's got into me the, he's got into me, that sounds horrendous, Jesus Christ. He has he's made me think of the idea of what's deemed stable measures of success and unstable measures of success. Example being, if you practice and you base your results or whether or not you're getting better on your score, and like say you shoot, you practice all the time, you shoot 75, 85, 95, 105, whatever it is, doesn't matter, just whatever it is for your category, you're like, oh shit, I'm not getting any better, this sucks. Well, what I'm doing today is I'm trying to set some tests that I'll do write down where I'm at, and then I'll practice for, I don't know, six, eight weeks, come back and do these tests again, treat it like a bit of a workout, like today, find out, go practice, come back, do the test again, and then I'll know if I'm better, great, these practices are working, and I'm getting better, and get confidence from that. If I'm not any better, okay, right, cool, the way I'm practicing isn't helping me, so change the way I practice. Other than that, my hands are freezing, and I have to keep going over to this side because giant meat, early, very early. The ground's frozen as well. Some of these tests, it's going to be hard because the ground's frozen. Anyway, crack on. So I figured the best way to do this would be to start at the green and then work backwards. So the test that I did for my putting, I'm actually, I didn't film because I did it back in November and it took absolutely ages. I hit 100 putts from 4 feet, 6 feet, 8 feet and 10 feet. Took a note of how many I got from each and then I put it into like a little spreadsheet against the PGA Tour average. So I can then go back, redo that test again, and then compare. So I'll show you guys the numbers, but yeah, we're not doing that test today. The chipping test, I've set up a ladder out to 15 yards, and I've used my alignment stick and put a little cone, I guess every yard, out the way. Right, so first one. It's obviously not very far, you can hear how frozen the ground is. Not very far. If I don't get this, I've got problems. Grand. One. Two. In. Yeah. Four. That ball's disgusting. One, two, three, four, five. Five alive. Right, five. Yeah. And Christ, it's quite far away, yeah. Oh, just short. I hit the cone. Hit the cone, though. Personal best after round one. One, two, three, four, five. Got to five. Little dinky chip. Easy. Oh my god. That works. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Round three. Basically just a duck, but works. Counts. 
We'll try this club. I didn't like this club for this shot last time I changed. See how I can do a bit better. Nope. Okay. Right, grand. Good enough for that. Test number one, chipping. Done. Thing. Test number two, pitching. I've laid out six red cones along here at incremental distances from uh, 10 yard incremental distances from 20 yards to 70 yards. The red cones are the targets. Short and long, I've given myself a three yard tolerance. So short, I've just for a bit of banter, I've made the short ones blue and the long ones yellow, representing a water hazard short and a bunker long. I thought that'd be quite nice. Three balls to each, six stations, three balls, so 18 shots total. Keep a track of how many out of 18 I get within the zones. I was gonna make it like finishes within the zones, but because it's been frosty, as you can see, or well, here, um, I'm gonna give myself like landing as opposed to that. So, yeah. That was just in. It was very nearly a splash. Reasons I do these on camera. One, because it's a bit of a laugh. And two, because the amount of pressure you feel putting it on camera, it's like you're playing a medal, and that's really helpful. Right, 20 yards, second try, a little bit longer. Plenty of room there. Go. Yeah, good. Sit. Just. Three out of three. Solid start. Oh, some of these balls are so dirty. Dirty balls, mate. Dirty balls. Go. Oh, right next to it. Beautiful. Not sure what the goal shout was. Not pulled, but... Just in. That one target's huge, though. Yeah, missed. Go. Oh, way short. I'm trying to. I had a short game lesson, and I was saying to the guy that I struggle with. Obviously, I'm quite a technical person. You know that if you watch these, I talk about all these positions and stuff, and I really struggle with just trusting that my practice is paying off and that I can just think about the target. So he said to me, "Imagine there's like an alignment stick there." So I'm allowed to think about technique here, so I'm thinking about turning my hips and standing up through the shot just to get my pelvis working properly, but once I cross that line, it's just target. That's huge again, so. Yeah, huge. It's just, just big. That's fucking little shot. Yes, bang on right next to it. Get it. 60 yards. Cross my little line. No more technical thoughts allowed. Target. Ball. Shot. That's short, I think. Go. Oh no, you know what? Distance wise. Distance wise, I think that was okay. You boys are keen. Cold. Oh really? Oh thank you very much. Well this is gonna be another one. This is next week's one, yeah. You wanna be in it? You wanna be in it? Say hi. -ya. <laughs> Pushed it. Pushed it. You know what? I'll give myself that because distance wise it's okay, it wasn't a bit of a push. Right, last one, 70 yards. I would probably change to a 52 from a 56, but technical chat again. My uh, short game coach said that I'm better when I can make aggressive swings at it, my action's better. When I have to do little delicate ones is when sometimes my pelvis gets a bit shy. So he says I'm almost better playing these with higher loft, a bit more aggressive. So 70 yards. Unsure. I think that may be big. Not sure. 
Is it though? I think it's just short. I thought it was miles short. Unsure. I'll double check. I'll go out there and double check. Wait. Hang on. Shite. None. Pesh. Um, 10 out of 18. Uh, 10 out of 18. Pitching challenge done. I've got five stations at 100 yards, 125 yards, 150 yards, 175 and then 200 yards. They are little kind of coned off areas, coned off greens that I've made, giving myself 5% tolerance distance wise. So at 100 yards, I've got a five yard by five yard green. Um, that's right, yeah, 10% of 100 is 10. 5% would be 5. And then obviously out at 200, I've got a 10 yard green. So what the idea is, five shots to each. So five, five, 25 shots total. I'm gonna put the my other camera, so hopefully we can see where it lands, but also there's a chance that I'll smash my camera. So that's fun. Oh, it's been miles off. Distance wise. Right, I sliced that. Good line. Be the distance. Big. Right, a bit big. To change clubs. 52 so I can hit a fuller shot. Looks good. Be the distance. Gonna just go with a pretty much full pitching wedge. That definitely could hit my camera. Nah, I missed it left. Missed it left. But who keep my ball? Don't want that one. It's even muddier ball, Jesus. I need to wash my balls. <laughs> Good line. Oh, I'll be the distance. Maybe. You know what? I'm not going to try and take anything off it. I'm going to grip down it a bit. Oh, I slipped. I slipped. Oh, I could definitely make camera. I don't know, that's far away. Good shot. Be in. That's a good shot. That is a good shot. That definitely has to be in, surely. I thought that one was close, just short. And I think, to be honest, I think that one probably landed in and the ground's frozen, so bounced out. Bit unfair, but close enough only counts in hand grenades and horseshoes. That might be in. That might be in. I don't know why you're swinging. You're doing practice. Out there. That's missed by, I don't know. I don't know, that's maybe missed by 30 yards. <laughs> Fucking hell, stretching. Right, okay, good. Good thing you've got blades. Obviously a good enough player to have blades. Ladies and gentlemen, the granny is off. One out of 15. Get in.
that's legitimately missed the target by 30 yards right again. Right, okay. That's right there. Right there. I think that's in. Oh, same again. Same again. redeeming myself I think a little bit here hopefully this is an old ass Pro V1 I don't think that's even got the legs to get there right come on last one you say heck up on the first ball and then that's like a fucking homing beacon on the first ball that was shine right oh that sucks none made it because they were all down it look at that right down it down it, down it, but never up, never in. Excuse alert would be to blame the fact that I'm spinning around Kylie Minogue. They were short, so the next one's a 200 yards, which is usually a five iron club, but honestly, with how cold it is and how short those were, I'm just gonna try and rip a three iron up to the end of the range. Oh, just go right, oh, really short. Fuck, right. Ah, it's a bit cut away from the, from the place. Why are you doing that? Why are you thinking about your technique? This is a fuck. I thought I'd be better at this than I was. It's interesting because for me, you know what? I'll take you guys with me. I'll take you guys with me. We'll, we'll walk and talk. So it's it's interesting, right? Like I would consider a part of my game, or I would have considered a part of my game that's quite strong as like ball striking, but that's like actual ball striking, like hitting the turf, hitting the ball, making a nice sound, hitting it nice through the air. That's the way I practice, is that I'll just come down here and I'll pretty much practice technically. Like I'll just try and get, feel like I'm getting good swing positions and then hit good shots. Or what I think are good shots. But it's interesting, I never practice like this. I never have targets that I hit to really. And I never try and do this. Because this feeling, the feeling that I've got just now of like failure, I try and avoid that. My ego is too fragile to handle that. Which is why, I don't know, in years gone by, I probably would have been like, oh, don't want to put that on YouTube, people think I'm shite. Whereas I'm just like, right, okay. It is what it is, like, try and get better from this, is the plan. One shot out of 25 shots in my target zones, say that's 25 approach shots. So I've, I've missed a full round of approach shots. A round and a half, I've missed, the, missed all the greens. And green and reg's obviously quite important. That's the iron play done. Got one out of 25. Gonna cut to me now. On the old driving range, doing a bit of driving practice. Let you in on like an inside YouTube secret. I've not filmed that yet. That's gonna be tomorrow evening because that's when I'm going to the range. The driving test, real simple, real quick. Nine balls, three fairways, three balls per fairway. A wide fairway, a medium fairway, and a small fairway. Ball number one, wide fairway. <laughs> Miss. Nope. Oh, wow. That's a bad miss. That's a mess again, isn't it? Ooh, that might sneak in. That wasn't a good shot. That's a miss. Get the fairway a bit tighter. Oh, so bad, great. Let's <sighs> miss the fairway again. Oh, it's not a good start. Absolutely no confidence that I'm gonna hit this driver. This is what it's like on the course though, so it's a very good uh, feeling. I'm just like in a rush to get it over with. Think about something neutral. 
speak. I'm gonna speak. One, two. Well, at least it's a different miss. But yeah, it's still a miss. All right, okay, so let's make this a tight fairway. <laughs> it's funny, I'm just like, uh, maybe I should think about keeping his elbow in. Maybe I should think about turning my hips. I honestly don't know how to hit a driver straight. Literally no idea. Missed. There you go. Good. One good one. It was a good one to be fair. <laughs> and it's in the tightest fairway. Bomb squad. Uh, one. Thank you very much for watching if you've watched this, if, if you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been reasonably interesting. Like I say, it's something I've wanted to do for a while to find out at the start of the season like where I'm at, write these things down, go away and practice differently as opposed to just trying to get into this position, that position. Practice for me, trying to hit targets, trying to get balls in zones, like little games like this and stuff where it's a bit more applicable, a bit more like golf then I'm hoping that that'll yield some different results because like if you keep doing what you've always done you're going to keep getting what you've always got I practice all the time but maybe maybe it's apparent I'm not practicing the right thing other than that thank you again and uh, see you guys next week bye bye